Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll compare three different platforms, Wix, Squarespace and Webflow. We'll compare them according to their features, prices and is it suitable as for you to use these platforms? Basically, you need to know that all of them provide us the opportunity to create our websites online. So Wix and Squarespace is more about website builders, just easy to use things, uh, easy to understand, easy to interact with, and everything is easy to start. But Webflow, if you'll we'll try to compare their editors or something like this, Webflow provides us more features if we want to add more detailed interface, for example, if we want to add animations, if we want to integrate more different stuff inside. It looks a little bit harder to understand, but with the help of these um, like features, we can implement more things inside of Webflow. So if you are new to this uh, platform for Squarespace, for Wix, for Webflow, um, you need to understand what do you want to create. If you want to create just simple websites like portfolio, maybe one page website, online store, and you don't want to have um, a lot of hard things such as site animations or something else, uh, I think that Squarespace or Wix is definitely better to use than Webflow. But if you want to customize it a lot, if you want to add animations, if you want to add more apps, if you want to add some logic, if you want to add some other things, uh, of course, Webflow could be better. You will compare it according to its uh, like features between Squarespace and Wix, they provide um, quite a huge amount of different features we can use. Um, and Squarespace and Wix are really like similar in terms of usage, in terms of things we can do, we can add. And also it's uh, quite easy to understand how to interact with um, like editor on Wix, an uh, editor on Squarespace. All the things are quite easy to understand. We can interact with pages, with uh, blocks, with uh, sections. We can interact with different elements. Uh, but if we we'll, uh, look at Webflow, uh, we can find that here and here there's like quite a big difference. Firstly, in terms of, for example, how can we interact with this text? If on Wix and Squarespace, we can just simply click on edit text and see all the features. On Squares, on Webflow, uh, we'll be able to find these huge amount of different parameters, effects, borders, uh, like alignment, size, spacing, layout. So yeah, definitely Webflow provides us the opportunity to uh, manage much more things uh, for like in depth settings, in depth like interaction with properties and so on. And on Wix, everything is quite easy to understand. Just like in a simple editor, we only have like this stuff here. And basically, as for me, as just for a simple user, I think that Wix and Squarespace is much easier to start with. Uh, it's easier to interact with this stuff. And basically, it's enough to create a website, um, which is not that hard. Also, if we'll compare like Wix things according to number of um, uh, templates we can use. I can say that Wix and Squarespace are really good. They have a lot of different, uh, they have a lot of different templates we can use completely without even upgrading plans, which is like quite, like really, really cool. And basically here on Squarespace, we can find a lot, a lot of different templates. Maybe even more here on like popular designs, we have like 28 templates. On all templates page, you have 164 different templates. On Wix, we even have more like uh, templates we'd like to uh, use, we'd like to interact with. So it's pretty, really, really cool.
And on Webflow, if you'll try to find a new like template on Webflow, it will it could be really really hard. Firstly, because almost all of their templates are paid. So as you can see, seventy nine dollars, forty nine, forty nine, forty nine, and we have like just simply a few uh, free templates we can use. Maybe like uh, twenty different template, twenty different templates, maybe a little bit more, and. Uh, if we'll compare it according to the number of templates, Squarespace and Wix are really uh, like beating uh, Webflow in this parameter. And I think that it's it's really like important as for the beginner uh, to be able to create it like in one day maybe. Because on uh, Webflow, you'll have to spend a lot of time to uh, create a website if you don't want to maybe buy it from some freelancer or something like this on uh, Webflow, it, it will be much harder for you to create than on Squarespace because here we can choose uh, like this template, for example, if we like it, and then we can easily customize um, all the stuff inside of the template because it's much easier to use pre-created templates uh, than to create a website from scratch. Of course, by the way, I have a lot of tutorials about Wix, about Squarespace, about Webflow. So if you decided to use one of these uh, products, you can easily find all the tutorials inside of my channel, or you can try to search for them on YouTube, nothing hard. And basically, um, if you'll like take a look at things, for example, like easy to use, of course, Squarespace and Wix are the winners. And the last thing I wanted to uh, show is that their prices. So let's see uh, the prices on uh, like um, these things. For example, on Wix, we have like three or four uh, plans we can upgrade to light, core, business. And basically prices are different if you're going to pay annually or monthly. But basically uh, we have just, uh, I think, uh, similar prices like from $20 to $50 for like average plan and basically it's enough to start with. Of course, every website provides us the opportunity to uh, try it without paying so we can use basic plan. But if you want, for example, to accept payments on Wix, you need to enable at least core plan $27 per month. And on Squarespace, the, th uh, the same thing, $33 per month. And if you want to compare them, uh, I recommend you to visit these pages and you'll be able to uh, see the difference. On Webflow, we have like general plans and e-commerce. And as you can see, we have like $74 per month for plus things. And it's because uh, Webflow provides us the opportunity to interact with more in-depth uh, settings, in-depth parameters, and we can customize Webflow website in a more like de deep way. So yeah, I uh, hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, subscribe and goodbye guys.